we're going to just play around a bit with seeing where a calculation is likely to end up as a positive or negative answer. And this is going to be a practice we want to get into because before we actually go and do all the calculations involving numbers, let's actually just see if we can figure out whether we're going to end up with a positive or negative as the answer. Let's look at a calculation like 653 subtract 789. Now, I don't want you to do the calculation. We just want to say, is it positive or negative? So 653, say we stay, that's over there on the number line. And now what we want to do is we want to subtract. So go down 789. Well, if we went down 653, we'd end at zero. But we don't only want to go down 653, we want to go down 789, which is going down even more than 653, so we'll definitely end up in the negative. In contrast, I hope it's quite easy for you to see, if, say, we did something like uh, this one, what we would be doing is starting at 653 and only going down 282 steps, which is just a small amount, and so we'd end up being positive. Okay, try these two for yourself. I don't want the answer just for you to tell me whether your answer will be positive or negative. Pause the video and try now. So hopefully for the first one, you saw that if you were at negative 354 and you needed to go up by 509 steps, well, going up by 354 steps would get you to zero. So you go if you're going up by 509, you're going up even further. So you will end up in the positives. On the other hand, if you're at negative 354 and you subtract, it means you're going to go down. And if you're going down a further 509, well, anywhere where you go down from negative 354, you're going to still stay in the negatives. And so this answer will be negative. 